Northern Virginia Congresswoman Jennifer Wexton says she will not seek re-election after learning her health issues have worsened. I spoke with Dr. Prisha Ghosh, a neurologist at the George Washington University Hospital, about the rare disorder in tonight's What's Going Around segment. How rare is progressive supranuclear palsy? Uh, PS, progressive supranuclear palsy, or PSP, is a rare neurodegenerative disorder. Um, on average, uh, the incidence of PSP is somewhere in the range of 0.3 to 0.4 per 100,000 people. Um, so it's, it's very rare to have this form of uh, neurodegenerative disease. Dr. Ghosh, do we know what causes PSP? We don't exactly know what causes PSP. And we, we do know that um, PSP is caused in part by the deposition of certain proteins in your neurons um, called tau and uh, neurofibrillary tangles. And it can actually, um, it can aggregate in your, um, in various cells in the brain, um, you know, not just actually the nerve cells themselves, but some of the supportive cells around there. And it can lead to a degenerative process. Congressman Wexton calls her diagnosis Parkinson's on steroids. What do patients typically see? What are the symptoms and are there any early warning signs? So by the time a person starts to really notice the symptoms of PSP, they've probably had it for a few years. Um, typically, some of the first symptoms a person may start to experience are things like um, having falls or balance problems, um, difficulty walking. Uh, oftentimes, a person person's posture might be different, um, where they might be, you know, more erect or their head sort of bent upwards. Um, they may um, also sometimes um, have stiffness more in the sort of torso or you know in the shoulders and hips as opposed to you know in the um, hands and feet things like that they might have um, blurred vision um, because it can affect your eye movements and how you coordinate your eye movements and that can lead to you know double vision dr ghosh we know this is a very debilitating uh, disease is there any cure for psp Unfortunately, at this time, there is not a cure that actually stops the disease process from progressing. Neurodegenerative diseases progress, and you know, at this time, we treat uh, each of the symptoms that develop symptomatically. So we have treatments for the cognitive symptoms, the movement symptoms, um, you know, some of the other um, sleep-related or other symptoms that can develop, but nothing to actually stop the disease process. Fortunately, there are some um, studies going on now to look at some potential um, uh, therapies in the future. Well, Dr. Ghosh, I really appreciate you taking some time and lending some insight and your expertise uh, on this topic. Thank you very much. My pleasure.